And so before conception, the parents of every child, whether they are aware of it or not, in their outer consciousness, have agreed at inner levels to receive that soul. If they have not agreed, they have been made aware that it is their karma to have that soul. Sometimes parents, seeing that this is a responsibility they must carry out, do not agree to sponsor the child because they are not willing to submit to the law of God. Often this is because their teachers, pastors, ministers, and rabbis have been wanting in the great knowledge of these cycles of life and have not been able to teach them, have not taught them that if they do not fulfill the calling to bear life now, that they will be in a sense aborting their life plan and its cycles. So in resisting that assignment, even though they may need to have that child, they both have karma with him or with her, they place themselves in a more difficult karma-making circumstance because sometimes, somewhere, they will yet have to bear that child. When two people block their opportunity to balance karma by aborting a child they have conceived, they will find that they cannot go on with their own divine plan. And it is very difficult to come to the place once again where two individuals will be together and that soul will be available and blessed by God to take embodiment. So it is not only the child's opportunity for life and spiritual growth that they are denying, but it is their own soul's divine plan and opportunity for life and spiritual growth that they are denying. A denial of life on the one hand does return as karma, the denial of life on the other. We lose something when we abort life in any way or circumstance, even if it is to crush another with words or with unkindness or meanness. I remember many years ago visiting my next door neighbor. We'd grown up together, known each other all our lives. She was married, doing very well financially. She and her husband had had four boys. And the husband was in the process of making the decision to be sterilized. I saw a beautiful girl, a child who was to be born through them in their auras. As I visited with them, I suggested very strongly that if they would have just one more child, they would have a girl and complete their family. They were adamant and were not to be convinced. He was sterilized and they did not bring forth that child that they should have brought forth in this life. Interestingly enough, they both came from very large families. So I looked at this beautiful little girl some months later and I realized that she would not be born to them in their present life. And I saw the lines of karma whereby that couple would have to reincarnate again in order to give birth to that child. This is why under certain lines of planning and birth control methods, it is wise to respect the opportunity that God gives us to bear children and to rejoice in the opportunity of, give, of giving life to those from whom sometime, somewhere, we may have taken life. This is the great joy and purpose of marriage, of bringing forth children who can carry on in their mission even as through them we are allowed to fulfill our mission. Children, of course, do not always represent karmic debts that we are paying off. But often, and more often, it is the case. Some parents who have already had children and have balanced the karma that they are intended to balance in this life through childbearing may then be chosen by God to bring forth children with whom they have no negative karma, but on whose behalf they are given the opportunity to bring them forth. And these may be highly gifted children who may make a great contribution to society 
by bringing back their past attainment with them. The preceding lecture was given by Elizabeth Clare Prophet, world-renowned author and spiritual teacher. The Summit Lighthouse is an international spiritual organization dedicated to universal enlightenment. Founded in 1958, the Summit Lighthouse has been a beacon of truth to thousands worldwide and a leader in New Thought spirituality. The preceding program has been brought to you by the Summit Lighthouse. For more information, call 1-800-245-5445 or visit our website at www.tsl.org. Outside the USA, call 406-848-9500 or write to the Summit Lighthouse, 63 Summit Way, Gardner, Montana, 59030 USA.